Gradually 2017 is going to an end and sooner than later we are going to face 2018. So in this video I decided to share with you how to design a cool 2018 calendar for yourself using Photoshop. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. That would be very helpful to me. So let's get into the video. Alright so first of all you have to create a new document. as. I do in most of my videos so you go to file and then you create a new document and this time around I'm going to create um, an A3 size paper I'll be using an A3 size paper if you don't know how to find it you go to the international paper here and then under the international paper you click on the sizes and you find A3 size over here so you don't you don't have to change any of the millimeters or any other thing it just give you the sizes just like that and then you click OK so you are most likely to have something like this on your screen right now. So let's get into it. Now, first of all, I'll have to set some rule or guidelines that will help me. So I'll go to view and then I'm going to set new guidelines. So first of all, I'll set a 5% guideline and the line will be here. So I'll go to view again and then I'll set a new guideline and 5. So definitely I'm going to deduct 5 from hundred then I'll get 95 percent which will also be here meaning this side and that side they are the same right okay so first of all I'll be needing some things of which uh, I'm going to make it available for you and um, thanks to um, calendar365.com obviously you know that we can't just sit down and then create the number or the color the number on the calendar just one by one so I downloaded some cool stuff over here I'm going to open them so I have three things over here that I'm going to make use of right so first of all I'll select the rectangle tool over here and then I'll draw a rectangle on top like this so you can change the color from this side and then let me choose any color I think this is okay all right so i'll press ctrl t on my keyboard and then i'll right click and select warp over here so warp will allow me to transform this particular rectangle just anyhow that i want so i think this is cool and then i'll i can take it up a little bit okay so next i'll press ctrl j and then i'll make a duplicate of the rectangle i have over here so i'll select the second rectangle and then i'll change the color to something light blue so let me bring it down and then i'll press ctrl t just to transform it a little bit and then i'll take it out small so i have a very nice thing over here all right so let me go back again and i forgot to add one of the guidelines so i will i'll make a new guideline of 50 percent and then i'll click ok so i have this one in the middle right okay so now next I'll select my pen tool over here and then I'll start from any point at this side so let me start from here and then I'll click here so that is the reason why I set this particular guideline so to make sure that I have this place and that of this side equal I'll have to bring this guideline over here and then I'll set this to this side all right so from now i can just go around and then bring it to the initial point and i have a nice shape over here you can of course change the shape if you want to all right so just like i was saying earlier and we can just be going around and then doing the calendar the days in the the days on the calendar one by one so i have this particular calendar 2018 from um calendar 365.com of course you can go and check it out they have so many calendars over there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set as i've opened this one i'll select the rectangular market tool and then i'll select the whole of the calendar of course the part that i need and then i'll right click and select layer via copy so i'm copying this 
I give all the claims to them. I don't have any hand in this. And then I'll place it on my work. You see, it's very simple. So I'll press Ctrl A and then select this particular align horizontals and this, of course, which will allow my, uh, my layer to be in the middle of the whole of my document. So it is as simple as that. You can do any other um, thing to it if you want to. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select this particular shape and then I'll go to blending options. And then I'll go to gradient overlay. And then I have this particular gradient over. So you can check the colors from here. This is the first color. And that is the second color, right? So you click OK and then OK. And then I'll set this um, angle to zero. So it will give me this side instead of the vertical side, right? So I'll click OK and I'm through with this. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a test to it. So I'll select my test tool and then I'll start to write anything. Of course, you can write anything if you want to. So I'll select a vertical insert and then I'm going to write iTech Solutions. That is my Facebook page name. So you can check it out on Facebook. So you open it up and then you can center that one too. All right. So I'll zoom in and then I'll duplicate that and bring it down and I'll edit it. And then this time around, I'm going to select Acrobat and the size I'll select bold and then I write computer and internet website that is what my page is all about so it's about computers and internet and then other stuff so you just position it in the middle and then you can and then you can just transform it to be smaller a bit and then I think it's okay from here right so next I'll just duplicate this high tech solutions and then I can bring it to any side and edit that 2018. So position it somewhere around this place. And then duplicate this one too. And then I'll change it to calendar. And then I'll take it to right beneath uh, 2018. Right. So let me go ahead and also create a rounded rectangle over here. Right. And then I'll go ahead and import my logo. So that is the PNG format of my logo. And then I'll place it inside very simple like that. Right. So all that you have to be doing is replace any of them that you want with your own logo if you want this template you can co contact me for it all right so it seems like we are almost through so it has left it in setting our picture right so we just have to go and select the first rectangle or let's say the background and then i'll go to file place and i'm going to place this particular image very nice right so I'll just position it somewhere around this place very neatly and then I'll right click and rasterize if you zoom in very clearly you can see that we have some part of the image that we don't want so you just select the rectangular market tool and then you select that area and just delete it so our calendar is ready and of course if you want to add any other thing to this particular area you can just add it on so i would like to add my social media account so first is the facebook so facebook.com forward slash you know graphics that is my facebook page so let me position it in the middle and then right so let me bring it down small and 
the next thing is um, Instagram dot com for slash say innocent. That's my Instagram account. You can follow me and then YouTube dot com for slash innocent keyboarding. So you can also follow me on YouTube or subscribe to my page if you are watching this video right now. So I'll just um, close the gap. And then we are good to go. So our calendar is ready. And then you can make any other changes. So if you want to place this particular image with any other image, you just have to get rid of it. And then you place it with your image. Now let me show you a cool trick that you can use over here. We have this template right now. It, it looks very beautiful. It looks very nice. But if you want to change the color instantly, all that you have to do is come to the side just select hue and saturation right if you select this hue and saturation it means that anything that you apply to this hue and saturation affects the rest of the layers beneath the hue and saturation let's experiment that if i take this hue to the other side look at what it's doing it gives me a very different color including my logo everything so it gives me a very different color so let me take it to the blues and I should have something very cool over here. You see how it works. That's how it works. So you, it can give you so many colors if you apply the hue and saturation on it. Um, so that will be all for now. I think this video was helpful. If it was, I hope you give it a like. And then you subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Alright, so I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.